there guys, Mike here again. Thanks for clicking the video. Welcome to my shop. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. This video is another Coleman Tech video. In recent videos, I showed you how to replace a cap seal, how to unclog an air tube, and actually how to remove a check valve. In this video, I'm going to show you how to actually clean that check valve. So here I have a Coleman uh, font or a tank, and this is how you would pump it up. Um, everybody probably knows how that operates. Put your thumb on the hole and you pump it up. But at the base of this tube, there's actually a check valve, a little brass check valve with a ball in it. And what that allows you to do is pump air into the tank. and It doesn't allow air to escape, so it can maintain its pressure for the lamp to actually operate properly. So what happens over time, if you leave fuel in it or um, you get dirty fuel or get some debris in there, um, a little bit of that ball doesn't seat properly in anymore inside that check valve and the check valve needs to be cleaned. So here's an example of some check valves here. So these are common check valves that Coleman's been using for many many years probably since the the 30s and this is just your standard check valve so you got a, a the shaft the rod that goes in there so it's a quarter inch and then you have the brass check valve and I have a modern one here which is pretty much the same principle but it's a lot uh, skinnier and thinner so these operate exactly the same and they would clean the same way. So one of the first steps to see is actually see if your check valve is actually holding air. Um, what you can do is make sure everything is tightened. You got a good seal, everything's closed. Uh, pump some air into it, but don't lock it up and see if you can hear it or put some soap on it or put some saliva on it and see if it, any bubbles come out of that hole. Or if this valve starts doing that, then you know you have a faulty check valve. So the first thing that I would do, rather than just removing the check valve, is actually getting some carb clean. So what you do is remove the lever, remove the, the little cap here, and spray some carb clean down the hole right on the check valve and let that sit there for an extended period of time, a couple hours overnight, and then make sure it's all clean and then try pumping it up again. That may work for you, um, if, since if you don't have this tool, a check valve removal tool, then maybe that's your only option to try to clean that um, check valve. Now, if that doesn't work, you're gonna have to get a check valve removal tool, something like this, and I have a link in the description below on where you could find something like this or how to make one. And then you remove the check valve, and then you do the same type of principle, put that into a little container, fill it up with this carb cleaner, and let that sit and kind of move it around, shake it around, and try to agitate the check valve to see that ball can get actually clean. And then after that sits overnight, put it back into your our font and pump it up again and see if it holds air. So the first method I would recommend doing is just taking this out and removing everything. So move the pump, move the rod, and then taking this carb cleaner in and letting it sit in there. Give it a good and just let it sit in there overnight on an angle like that. And so what that carb cleaner is going to do is going to try to attempt to clean the ball. And what you can do is kind of move it around and actually try to force a little bit of air into that to kind of agitate the try to agitate that ball a little bit and then once that sits overnight just kind of dump the carb cleaner out make sure it's all nice and clean and then you can put it all back together again and see if that worked so you can pump that up yeah, you can hear that that check valve is still faulty. So the next option is to actually remove that check valve completely out of there. So go ahead and we'll pull that check valve out. And there it's all the way out. And then we'll go ahead and we will clean that with the carb cleaner again in a vat of carb clean. So once the check valve's out, I just take this empty screw container and then I let that sit in there for an extended period of time, like overnight, and see how that works out in the morning. And this carb cleaner should be able to take all the residue off of that ball. 
So if you find that the carb cleaner method does not work for you and your check valve is still passing air, the other method, which is actually my go-to method, is using white vinegar. So what I do is I put white vinegar in a pot, uh, bring it up to a boil, put the check valve in, boil it for about 10 minutes, agitate it around, uh, move the check valve, move the ball around, and that typically will uh, make all the solvent and little debris in the check valve uh, get out of there. And I've had pretty good success with this method. So I'll show you how that works. I end up having to do it outside because my wife really does not like the smell of boiling vinegar in the house. So here we go. Got my little camp stove and uh, just boil some vinegar and within 10 minutes you should be good to go. Well, I hope you found this video informative to clean your own check valve. These old lanterns are worth fixing up, so fix them up rather than replacing them with a new one. If you can't get your check valve to seal, and you're probably going to need a new one, so I'll put a link in the description below on where you can find one. If you're interested in a check valve removal tool like this, I actually made a video on how to make something like this. And if you don't want to make one, hit me up. I do make them in small batches for fellow collectors. Once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.